get into other people's mindsets and everything. That comes out in the music sometimes as well. It's kind of a, a blank canvas that we start throwing paint on. At some point you start to kind of see what it is that you've made, and Radio Cinematic is a little bit like that. Hi, it's Jonathan Jackson, Any Nation, and we're on Stark Insider. This is a big goofball. Big complexity. How did you come up with that name? What was the you know, inspiration for it? Richard and I have been, uh, been doing film, acting, and music since we were kids. And so those two worlds um, have always been connected for us, you know, music and film. Some of our favorite artists like U2 and Peter Gabriel have um, really pioneered connecting powerful visuals with their music, and so that's kind of where it came from. Video is such a powerful thing, right? Yeah. People watch the songs. Sometimes the first time they hear the song yeah. is when they're actually watching the video. Mm -hmm. So when you're, tell me a little about the creative process for you guys. Do you merge all that together? What comes first, the visuals, the music, the lyrics? Yeah, that's a good question. Sometimes it's all, you know, kind of connected. You know, when we're in the studio recording an album, we tend to use language that's a lot like filmmaking. You know, we talk about uh, sort of the, the story arc of the album and um, some of the, the characters, you know, that inhabit the songs. Sometimes they're autobiographical, sometimes they're, you know, characters. And since we've spent a lot of time sort of walking in other people's shoes, uh, you know, as actors, you have to get into other people's mindsets and everything. That comes out in the music sometimes as well. So it's, um, it's just, just a natural approach, you know, for us to look at music as, as some kind of storytelling. click for you at some point to do both? Because there's certain certain artists that kind of span both and have done it successfully. I mean, Jared right. Leto is definitely one. Our dad is a, a singer and a, and a bass player and songwriter, so we grew up with a, a, a real love for music. And we started making little home records in our basement. Um, I was probably 11 years old when we started recording those. From my knees I rise to dream. Both the music industry and the film industry has gone through massive transformations. Mm -hmm. How do they compare? Are they very different beasts or are they very similar and how? Yeah, I think film is um, probably, um, there's still more value in, in terms of the movie tickets and whatnot. Music's, music's value in terms of the dollar value in, in, per download is going smaller and smaller. It's all in the live concerts. Right, you know, and, and film sort of has that live element when it comes to theaters, when you go to an event, where the concert has become sort of that live event, almost like they're kind of in tandem in a way. It's an ongoing and sort of ever-changing thing. But, um, you know, I think uh, obviously social media is a big thing, you know, having that interaction with fans is really important. And, you know, for us uh, in, in the band, um, we, we want to connect with people, we want to touch people, and we want the music to mean something, you know? And uh, that's really all we can hope for. You and me are gonna burn out the lights Star Threes, uh, what's your favorite food? We'll kind of go down. Um, pasta, very, very authentic Italian marinara sauce. Yeah. Got it, as opposed to that fake stuff. I love cheese, <laughs> <laughs> grilled cheese, <laughs> pasta with cheese. Uh, wine, Malboro rum, rum and, and coke. coke. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and finally, favorite gadget. Ooh. That's a tough one. What would you say? Flux capacitor. Flux capacitor? <laughs> from, from Back, back to, to the Future. It's really just my iPhone. It's great. I have like the flux capacitor. No <laughs> one has ever said that. Although if they made a hoverboard, I'd be into that. <laughs>